Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year everybody. I am a day late. However, I'm still going to film my yearly favorites for you guys. This includes hair care, skin care, and makeup products. So that you know what, um, a few products here in front of me. So, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off first with hair care. Then we'll do skin care and then we'll do makeup. We'll save the best for last. So starting off with shampoos and conditioners, I have been loving the Carol's Daughter line. This is their cocoa cream recipe. Their line is, it is um, sulfate free and paraben free. It's for all hair care. It is for all hair types, but for my hair curly for my curly hair it works magic it's so creamy and buttery and soft and I don't know I just love it and for me especially because I have spent years as a natural girl about four or five years trying so many different products spending so much money on products that do not work for me my hair is very dry it's curly. I have two different type of hair textures in the front. It's wavy and the back is like curly. So I find a product that works good for the back of my hair but doesn't work for good for the front of my hair but then works good for the front of my hair doesn't work. You know? You know? So it's like I finally have a product not in just not one set I also have another set over here. This is also by Carol's Daughter but this is the Almond Milk line. And again, it's the same thing. Well, they're for um, the cocoa cream is for extremely dry hair. Hello, and then the almond care it is for extremely damaged, over processed hair. My hair is not damaged anymore. I cut a lot of it off because I did perms for like six, seven years straight, every two weeks, faithfully perming my hair. So when I did decide to become natural it was very very damaged so I wind up having to cut a lot off over there um about two or so years but I still use these products because I still feel like there's some of my hair that still needs help so to keep it moisturized and you know I get my ends clipped faithfully and then for like my moisturizer I wash my hair once a week so my moisturizer that I use when I want to refresh my hair every two or three days is the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Refresher Spray and this has agave, sweet almond and wheat protein as well as these um, two sets right here do as well. So and then as far as styling my hair there's really only one thing that I use which is the Camille Rose natural curl maker again spent so many years trying to find products that didn't flake what didn't make my hair crunchy still kept my hair moisturized and gave me hold again no luck until I started until I found Camille Rose now and I will have all the links in the description for all of these products um, I believe that is it oh one last thing okay so uh, for my ladies who wanna um you know get their edges on fleek the, I have the blueberry bisque control control paste this is not going to ooze to to, to melt down I have very curly hair in the front they're like little curly strings and they just curl up so I mean if I take a toothbrush in like a jam or something and I go when I gel them down they'll stay and then an hour later they'll curl right back up but with this right here I can put it in there swoop do my little thing and that's it I better be recording okay and then I'm good to go all day and I don't have to worry about throughout the day I'm like wiping my forehead and there's grease because the stuff is like oozing out of my forehead don't have that problem nothing and doesn't make it hard doesn't make it crunchy very good hold 
last but not least for the hair section we have um, black Jamaican castor oil this I also use alongside with my refresher spray to refresh my hair every two or three days this is actually really good it's like a three in one because it can be used for your skin to moisturize your skin after you get out of the shower and you can put this in your hair when you after you wash your hair you know wash your hair conditioning hair whatever put your moisturizer in and then you can apply an oil either before or after you apply your gel or whatever products you use to style your hair and you can also use this as like a um what am a hot oil treatment sometimes you can also use this as a hot oil treatment so you put this in your hair on your scalp rather and you will either sit under a steamer or you can sit under you can sit under a blow dryer and you can um, leave this in your hair and let it moisturize your scalp and, and get into your scalp for about 15 to 20 minutes then you go in you rinse it off and then you follow up with your shampoo and conditioner and moisturize so this is a really good product okay so that wasn't last okay never mind scratch that now I promise this is the last thing promise this is the soft sheen Carson hydrate steam moisturizing system oh my gosh if you are someone like me who has curly hair super well I don't think it matters what type of hair but if you are someone who has very very dry hair sometimes the shampoos and the conditioners yes they moisturize they're very good but if you need something that's it just mm, something that is just going to nourish and condition your hair to like the extreme max every week but for me i've trained my hair you know as far as moisturizing i've used different products so my hair is a lot better now as far as moisture and my my styles last a lot longer because of my moisture reg moisture regimen re regimen whatever you get what i'm trying to say so i only use this once a month but if you take this you can either take this and well you shampoo your hair you use this as your conditioner you apply this to your hair you put a um shower cap on and you can sit either under a steamer or a, a hair dryer which i have both i mainly do the steamer because steamer just applies more moisture because you know you put water nothing steam is nothing but water so it just applies more moisture on top of this what you already have so you sit in there for about 15 20 minutes until the water runs out of your steamer or if you don't have a steamer or a blow dryer you can just put a shower cap over your hair and by like, turning the water in the shower on like super hot and make the bathroom like really really steamy and kind of let the heat seep in from there like 20 minutes like, I you take a shower shave whatever you gotta do um but this is really good if you have a steamer or a, um, a blow dryer and you just let it melt into your you just let it melt your hair is so soft and your curls are just popping you don't even need no gel no nothing it's just like boom okay anyways moving along <laughs> that was it for the hair care now we're gonna go ahead and move into skincare my skincare regimen it's very simple when I get up and I get in the shower I use the Noxzema originally deep clean well classic clean originally deep cleansing cream um facial I don't know what you would call this it's a, it's a cleansing because I mean it cleans your face it, um, I have very very poor skin so you know like even me now wearing makeup I go in there and I have like a makeup I use my makeup wipes use my makeup remover and I come and then I do my Noxzema then I have a toner which I did not bring in here with me but I do also use a toner after I use my Noxzema I use a toner and then I either use the sea breeze or I use the simple water both of these are really good this one is more of like that cooling, refreshing, and this one is more like a, a gel, not like a gel, but it's like a baby oil, very soft, but they both get the job done, and they're both very moisturizing. And then, grab my, <laughs> okay, 
And then once I'm done that, I um, finish off with my set of filled moisturizing lotion. And that's it. It's okay. So now that we're done with the skincare products, we will go ahead and move on to the makeup products. So the first on my list for makeup products would definitely have to be setting powder, the hourglass setting powder. I have had so many problems with either either concealers or powders. Really, didn't figure out what it was. Uh, just, um, my under eyes would crease like really, really, really bad, and I couldn't figure out if it was the powders that I was using or if it was the my goodness. Or I couldn't figure out if it was the powders that I was using or if it was the concealers that I was using. But I've been using the LA Girl Pro Concealer or I used my Huda Beauty Concealer in, in combination with the Hourglass Concealer. And I have no problems with under eye creasing, you know, don't get caked up and look all nasty after a couple hours of having my makeup on. Everything's the, uh oh, that's how you know it's time. Lashes hanging on by a thread. It's time to take this off, and I had this makeup on all day. It's time to get a little goosey. Anyways, so the hourglass is definitely good. It is not a brightening, a brightening powder. It's a translucent same powder, and I want and makes your under eyes so soft. Oh. And then next would be the Anastasia Dip Brow. I like Anastasia's products. I did have their um, the pencil, and it just wasn't dark enough for me. So then I switched to the Dip Brow, and I've had no problems. And I also have their brush as well. I love it. And this is definitely a favorite of mine: the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It, this is my this is not the right color for me this is a little too pink undertone but I still do love the concealer oh this is my holy grail right here again I've been using this since like probably like my freshman year of high school the first mascara that I've actually ever used and I have stuck with it I've tried other mascaras out for the years but I have always went back to this one at the end of the day it is the best mascara and then of course, dun dun dun, my holy grail, the Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation. I am in the shade Golden. It's what I'm wearing now, and I love it. It's just, it's everything. Four pumps, I got a full face, boom, done. I love it. Okay, so these two right here have to be. The best two setting sprays that I've tried. Only reason why I say that this would be like a more high end and then this would be like a more drugstore. Only reason why I say that is because both of these are very fine. So when you spray it on, you don't feel like a pile of water. I don't know if you guys ever tried these. Um, what am I trying to say? These setting sprays that they're they pump out so thick and it feels like you just splash a bunch of water on your face and it takes forever to dry these two are the first two that I've tried that don't get that they're very fine and it just it feels like a little like a light spray and it doesn't take hours for you to dry you spray it on and then you immediately continue you don't have to let it dry it's like spray it on boom it's done and they actually do the job when they say that they make it last they make it last so definitely love these two and then the Stila again I have very poor skin so when it came to like my texture hyperpigmentation and blurring my pores um, I had a very hard time finding primers that would you know do all that so when the foundation laid on my skin it didn't look so good but now with this primer along with I also have the MAC primer that's pretty good but I do like this one a lot 
and then this is the same as the first one just in the darker color this is what I use to conceal and I have tried several different powder concealers and they just don't give me what this gives me and it's five dollars like you can't beat that and then lippies L'Oreal has to be like on my list for the like top spot for lipsticks as far as drugstore um these they're not dry they're they don't like cake up they don't get stuck in the creases they are a little hard to get off when you go to apply them off you kind of got to scrub but i can appreciate that because that means when i eat drink you know whatever i'm doing is gonna last so i can appreciate that other than that i have no complaints and plus smell like chocolate and so I have definitely been a Morphe affiliate this year everything recently that I've been buying as far as like palettes and like little eyeshadow as as far as the eyeshadow palettes and the brushes go, I have definitely been going to Morphe for all of that. So this is the, <clears throat> I don't even know which one this is. Okay, okay, so it's the 350M, this is the Nature Glow Matte 350M Morphe palette. This right here, I have used this probably for every single look. I have, I think, like one or two colors on right now from this palette. This palette right here, even if I'm only going in there, stupid. Even if I'm only going in there for one or two colors, I always bring this out in my looks. And definitely the Jaclyn Hill palettes have been my go-to this year as well. The colors are not really, you know, everyday colors, but... I can always pick at least one or two colors out of her palettes to help me create whatever look I want to look. Whatever look I want to look. Whatever look I want to create. These have definitely been the three most used palettes for me this year. And I look forward to getting it some more next year in 2019. And last but not least, makeup wipes are very important. Um, I have tried, I do have a makeup remover that is by Neutrogena that is good and I have tried not to use makeup wipes, just go straight to using the um, makeup remover and then my Noxema, my toner, you know, and go down the list of what we speak, spoke about in the video earlier. Um, it doesn't quite work that well. I still wind up like when I go in with my um, texture pads in my set of field I still have some makeup because like I said before I had very poor skin so for other people you know it's like a five step process and it may work for them but like the makeup seeps into my pores so I need something that's going to help me pull it out so I would use this in combination still with the makeup remover and Noxema toner set of field and then my moisturizer and then I'm good to go because no one likes having leftover makeup all stuck in their pores. Mm, that's how you get breakouts, acne, and we ain't got time for that. So, definitely favorite. I have tried um, makeup wipes from also. I've tried makeup wipes from Sephora. I've tried even the Cetaphil wipes. I've tried different wipes from different brands, um, drugstore brands. Neutrogena so far is my favorite because one wipe, all you know, like all what you can see it's like one wipe from my eye that was all my favorite little goodies for hair skin and makeup products for this year i hope you guys had a wonderful 2018 let me know what you guys like to see next in this new year i cannot wait to see what this new year has to offer you you guys me all of us i can't wait to see us grow ah <sighs> i'm excited sorry but anyways leave me some comments down below of what's the next um i actually started something i have two new foundations that i have never used yeah i have two new foundations that i have never used on camera i wore them outside already so i guess 
I have worn them and tested them out, but never on camera. So maybe in the future after this one, after I give this one up, we'll do a look with those foundations. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And then make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time that I post a video. Bye.